so that's another thing we're working on. And you know, right now we're we're providing. I mean, I'm providing all. I'm, Health Force is providing all the technical support right now to these instructors that are going online, and that's um, uh, Brady Maleka of of Health Force Minnesota. He's our he's he's our tech expert. As I say, he has that title because because he's the only one on our team that's under the age of thirty. Um, so. <laughs> He's <laughs> not like he's got any formal training in it, uh, but uh, he he's been super in helping helping these teachers out. So uh, and he's learning an awful lot as he's doing it, you know. So, uh, but uh, we are we are. Um, well, let me tell you about the online course here. Well, because everything else is probably not going to make as much sense if you don't know about that. Uh, so you're aware that we've got two online courses for nursing assistants, nursing assistant that we can provide. Um, it's, it's the instructor's choice if they want to use the Minnesota State Nursing Assistant Curriculum or if they want to use the Healthcare Core Curriculum. Um, uh, the, the Minnesota State one is, like I said, much shorter. And so I think probably for these adult learners, they're going to want that one. Uh, although it was interesting to me that ABE wanted to go with the longer one. Um, and part of, part of the goal of the longer one is usually used in high schools and with high school students, because part of the goal is, is uh, it's not just to get people the skills. Uh, it's not just the how, it's also the why. And so if someone's going into a healthcare pathway, if they start with the why, they're going to be a better employee because they know why they're doing it. Uh, and that's going to allow them to advance uh, in, in those pathways. So that's kind of the reason for it. Um, but anyway, so we've got these two courses and uh, what uh, in Minnesota, there is no approved curriculum for nursing assistant training that includes online teaching skills or clinical. And the reason for that is, is because Minnesota Department of Health would not allow us to do it online. They're kind of uh, they're kind of in the 1990s, you know, and so. Um, uh, so we're we're uh, now that we have to do it, um, we are building uh, a, a virtual skills lab and a virtual clinical. And so, um, and this is a challenge, I can tell you, uh, to do, to do, it's a lot easier to do the didactic portion online. <laughs> um, and uh, so anyway, we, we, we when, uh, when it became clear to me that we needed, because um, we didn't have the Minnesota state curriculum as an online course, and when it became clear to me that we needed that, um, I reached out to South Central Services Cooperative because they've taught the lecture portion online since 2015. And um, their instructional designer that developed that course is also a teacher. Um, and she uh, she dev she's the one that we hired to do the healthcare core curriculum online. And so I, I uh, and so anyway, we uh, we we contacted them and said, you know, would you give us our, would you give us our core your course? Um, so this is kind of a strange way to start a partnership. <laughs> we don't have anything to offer to you, but would you give us your course? And so um, anyway, so we started talking and they, they were very open to it. They said, why don't why don't we co-own the course? And then you guys fund the development of, of the of the virtual skills lab and the virtual clinical and then we'll share it. We'll just share it. And so that's what we did. So we entered an agreement with them.